hello guys welcome back here so now that we already set up our six adapter right here as you can see for length four now it's time to install our surugi okay and now to install surugi what we want to do first is we want to go to a browser as you can see here and then type here surugi download okay so as you as you can see here we have surugi download and then you click on the first link that come out which said download here you click on that one and then now here as you can see we are here in this interface where we have surugi linux here now we want to choose download mirror 3 okay and from here i feel like it depends on what kind of operation like what kind of a system you have whatever works for you but um, i feel like i will go with the number three here so you click on number three and then here normally you should choose this one which is the is um um this one right here and then i mean based on some research that i did there is some problem that go with this one so now what we want to do we want to choose the ova okay so now we let's click on the va and then let's download the ova okay and for the ova it require you to have some like a lot of memories and all those kind of like a cpu stuff like that but for myself i do have like whatever it takes to use the ova so let's go ahead and then i'm just gonna wait until the download is done and as you can see it is like 33 giga you know and then from there i will come back and we will finish up the installation okay okay now that we're done with the installation um the download of the surugi file so now what you want to do before anything you want to make sure that your pf sense is on and if you don't turn it on it, you, it will not work okay so now make sure that your pf sense is on so now because we're using the OEVA file we don't have to go through new we have to go to import click on import and then now you want to come to file here and then go to download and find your OEVA file mine is right here and click on it and click on okay and then now here on setting you want to make sure that uh, you have uh, okay mine is for cpu right here and then now the only other thing that you need to do is to change the mac address policy into generate new mac okay and then now you want to click on finish and here you want to agree on into the software license agreement and click on agree and all right now that we have the installation is done as you can see right here this is surugi right here layer now we want to go ahead and then move it into a new group so we're going to create new and then now we're going to come here and then rename the group and the name will be let's see security all right it's going to be the name and then now we want to move the new group into the home lab okay so now we have the group right here actually hold on rename it didn't rename yet rename so here it's going to be security there you go so now we have security here let's make sure that it's in move group into home lab okay now it's in inside of our home lab let's double check here there you go home lab security and then we have to do okay now that that one is done okay now it's time to um configure our surugi okay and to do that you want to come here and click on surugi and then go to setting and as we are in setting here we want to go to display actually system and select okay that one is already selected let's see okay so now that one is done we don't have to change that so let's just change the network so the network here we want to choose internal network and then here we want to change the LAN to LAN 4 okay now that's done and then you want to click on OK and then now from here we can go ahead and start our surrogate okay as you can see we are in here so now what we need to do we need to type our password and the password will be a default password will be surugi hold on it's gonna be surugi and then tap enter and just give it a time there you go now we are in okay let's ask me later let's leave that for later okay so it looks like now we have surugi here working and then now what we need to do is to install the guest addition okay to guest um to install the guest addition what we want to do first we want to go to device and then we click on insert guest guest addition cd image and now when we click on that let's just give it a second and we want to come here into this small cd here we double click on it and hold on a second we click on it and then now one click instead of double click so you want click and then you click on mount v box and then now when you click on that you come here in the in the screen here and then you double click on this one and you want to go to tools next 
okay when you click on tools now you click on open folder open current folder in terminal okay and as you can see we have our terminal here so we are here so what we want to do we want to run this command which is going to be sudo and the backslash and vbox let's see vbox um linux linux um add addition right addition the run okay so this is the last command that gonna finish our installation of the guest edition that we are doing so now what you want to do want to type enter and it's going to ask us our password and the default password is surugi enter hold on something with the command line vbox sudo vbox editions that run okay give a second sudo vbox vbox linux editions that run so it looks like i have the right command line here it's going to be sudo vbox linux addition okay make sure the l is capital l okay so now we do enter ah it's giving me some problem here okay 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 hold on let's try one more time sudo plus vbox linux additions that run okay enter godly okay okay i'll keep making mistake i know i see the mistake now vbox linux okay again another mistake addition that run okay so here i made another mistake also the addition the a should be capital so now hopefully this time it will work so it's going to be sudo that plus vbox linux addition okay so now let's do enter there you go now it is all good all good now for the beta box addition of linux okay so now it's working okay so now is working okay let's give it a second here and okay, now we have our installation is done here that we are done here we can close the terminal let's see if it's gonna work so we want to go to device and then go to answer guest addition and then come to the circle here and then so it's already mounted all right now from here what we want to do we want to come to the this cd here and then we unmount it okay so now it's unmount and then now you can see we have the full screen okay and there is some changes you need to do if you're in a different location to the united states you can change the keyboard we speak a different language okay now what we want to do next is to update our system okay i'm sorry my son is making some noise up there but yeah let's go ahead and update our system and to update the system you want to type the command sudo um update um, and then and then sudo um up full upgrade okay and then you type enter now it's gonna ask you for your password and then the default password is gonna be surugi and then enter hold on a second sudo update sudo up full okay hold on a second see i don't know why it's showing me this okay it's easy to make a mistake so here i move i didn't put the app the apt here okay so always remember to put that it's gonna be okay when i was talking um it was midi i didn't know it was midi but what i did was i just run the comment sudo app um apt update and sudo app full upgrade and those are the comments that i ran and as you can see here so now our system is updating and upgrading so it's going to do a fully update and upgrade okay so that's the process that i'm doing right now so i'll be back when it's done okay now that it's done we can just close our terminal and then here shut down our um shut it down here and the next step that we want to do is to take a snapshot of our um surgi okay that's the last step that we're going to do here so we're going to come so here we come to the to this three dot right here right click and then go to snapshot and then now take a snapshot and give it the name okay fresh fresh install is going to be the name of our snapshot okay and then now okay i'm sorry about my son you know if you're a parent you will understand why i'm, I'm trying to get him out of the video so much but he's still not coming around so okay so now we're done with, with the installation of our um surrey linux okay and i'm gonna end this one here and then i can wait to see into the next step from here all right